Adonis Stevenson retains his WBC light heavyweight world title with a second round TKO victory over Andre Fonfara in their rematch. Now, at first glance on paper, this would seem like an impressive result for Adonis Stevenson, given the fact that a couple of years ago, their first fight went 12 rounds and Funfora gave Stevenson all he could handle. He even managed to drop Stevenson in that fight, although Stevenson wasn't particularly hurt when he got dropped. He was more of a balance issue and tiredness. But still, Funfora came on strong late in that fight and gave Stevenson plenty of problems after climbing off the canvas a couple of times early on. So for him to get rid of Funfora in such easy fashion in the rematch, you would think is impressive. But you have to take into account the fact that Funfara got knocked out in one round by Joe Smith Jr. just two fights ago. He won his last fight, but before that he was KO'd in a round by Joe Smith Jr. I can't for the life of me understand why it wasn't Joe Smith Jr. in there against Sudonis Stevenson tonight rather than Andre Funfara. Surely Joe Smith Jr. has done more than enough to warrant that shot against Stevenson. He certainly done more than Funfara. He knocked out Funfara and he knocked out Hopkins. So God knows why Joe Smith Jr. wasn't in there. They apparently tried to make the fight. There was some type of negotiations, but for whatever reason, it didn't get made. Funfara went in there instead. I mean, it could have even been Alida Alvarez in there. He's been waiting a long time for a shot against Stevenson. Anyway, Funfara was in there. He was with Virgil Hunter. Hunter really couldn't help him. As soon as Stevenson started landing his left hands, which was fairly early on in the first round, Fonfara found himself in trouble and soon after found himself on the canvas. He got up and he barely survived the first round. It was touch and go as to whether the referee was actually going to stop it. I think if it wasn't for the fact that this was a main event fight and if it wasn't for the fact that the rematch, sorry, that the first fight was so competitive late on, I think the referee probably would have stopped this fight in the first round because Fonfara was totally out of it after getting up from the knockdown. But whatever the case may be, he was allowed to continue into the second round. Stevenson started landing his left hand again and Virgil Hunter, the trainer of Andre Fonfara, waved his hand from ringside, indicating that he wanted to pull his fighter out. And that was all she wrote. Stevenson gains an easy victory. It was interesting to me that Stevenson on the way to the ring, maybe I got something wrong with my ears here, but on the way to the ring and after the fight when Stevenson had won, I heard boos from the crowd there in Canada. I'm not saying it was all boos, but I certainly heard a significant amount of boos. So it seems like the Canadian fans are also getting frustrated with Stevenson at this point. They loved him a couple of years ago when he was knocking out the likes of Chad Dawson, Tony Bellew, um, Tavoris Cloud, so on and so forth. I mean, even in his... One of his recent fights, was it his last fight? Where he knocked out the guy in three or four rounds? I think it was against Thomas Williams Jr. Was that his last fight before this? I forget now. He's been quite inactive, actually, Stevenson of late. And the comment, the, well, the, uh, the interviewer at the end of the fight put that to Stevenson. He said, look, you've been very inactive. Are you going to be more active now? And Stevenson just started talking about Al Heyman. So that is what that is. But yeah, Stevenson, I hope he fights Alida Alvarez next. And after the Alvarez fight, I really want to see him fight the winner of Kovalev Ward rematch. If not, then I'd like to see him fight Arta Baterbiev, although that's looking a little bit shaky at the moment because Baterbiev is trying to split from Yvonne Michel, his promoter in Canada. So we're not sure when. Baterbiev is going to be back in action. He is supposed to fight some sort of eliminator for one of the titles, but whether that's going to go ahead or not, I don't know because of his promotional situation. So perhaps Baterbiev is not as realistic as the winner of Andre Ward, Sergey Kovalev. I have the feeling that if Andre Ward beats Sergey Kovalev, a fight between Ward and Stevenson will be easier to make than a fight between Kovalev and Stevenson. Just because of the fact that Kathy Duvar, I think, just can't get along with Al Heyman at all. Whereas Ruck Nation, I know Jay-Z has had his issues with Al Heyman outside of the arena of boxing. But I'm a little more hopeful for Ruck Nation, which is headed up by, I believe the guy is called Mark Yormark. I think he's called Mark Yormark. Maybe I'm getting his first name wrong. 
But Mr. Yormark, anyway, I'm sure that's his surname, is the president of Rock Nation. Surely he can sit down with Al Heyman and whatnot and get a fight done between Andre Ward and, and Adonis Stevenson uh, if Andre Ward wins the rematch. We'll see. But for now, Stevenson remains almost um, a forgotten champion and an irrelevant champion in the light heavyweight division. He's almost as irrelevant as Nathan Cleverly at this point. We all know that the ward Kovalev rematch is the battle for true supremacy at 175. I know you can't really call yourself the best unless you fought all the champions and all the top guys, but Stevenson has fought himself into obscurity in a certain sense. I know Kovalev, aside from fighting Andre Ward, hasn't exactly got a stellar resume at championship level 175 pounds either. I mean, he fought Jean Pascal twice, who's you know been over the hill for a while, and here we have Stevenson fighting Von Fora twice. But still, at least Kovalev pushed the boat out and fought Andre Ward, and he's doing so again. When is Stevenson going to step up to the plate and fight somebody like an Andre Ward? Somebody of the top tier in boxing? We'll see. Time is ticking for this guy. I believe he's 39 years old now. So he's got to get a move on. Even if he wants to cash out, he's going to have to cash out quick. So drop your comments in the comment section below. Were you impressed by Adonis Stevenson's performance? Yes, he was able to get Fun Four out there early. But how much of that was residual psychological scars from the Joe Smith Jr. defeat on Fonfora's part. And how much of it was Stevenson improving maybe since the first fight, not underestimating Fonfora and maybe having a stronger left hand because he said he hurt his left hand in the first fight. Drop your comments and thoughts in the comment section below. It's happening, I'm out.